Now, in order for me to be able to tell this story correctly, we have to have what we call community singing, which means I lead and you follow obediently, you see. Do you feel obedient? Yes! You feel obedient? Yes! <laughs> hey! Half a sixpence is better than half a... Uh, uh, no. I am Bastini, Prime Minister and Minister of War. Do you want to buy a sword, mate? Has here <laughs> written a letter to you. Open it and read it. Look then to be well edified when the fool delivers the madman. <laughs> By the Lord, madam! Who's that one over there? The incomparable Domingue. Is he still around? Oh, yes. Where? In hospital. He was tossed six feet last Friday. But you have no need to worry, senor. You will know. No. When you step into the ring, you will soon find yourself carried away. She probably decided to give the room an airing. I forgot to close off again. Well, of all the blasted stupid... Get an axe. Anthony! Knock her for the alligators. I venture to ask a poor riddle, sir. Whereupon lay the difference between His Grace and poor Jack Point. Well, His Grace was pleased to give it up. Thereupon I told him that whereas His Grace was paid £10,000 a year for being good, poor Jack Point was good for nothing. <laughs> I mean, look at me. I mean, the wear and tear on the top is something chronic. They pull my head up and down to get me started, and off I go on my rounds, bumping into things, chipping me paint. Humming all way merrily as though it was all a load of fun. Well, it isn't. Well, it is sometimes, but it isn't all the time. Some of the time it is, but some of the time it isn't. Some of the time it isn't, and some of the time. said, you silly little bull, you're a pretty little bull, you're my little bull. Please don't ask me why, little bull, you just ate a black severe. I was doing a play with Joan Plowright, Sir Alec Guinness and Sir Ralph Richardson. And, and after the performance, I was in my dressing room getting ready. I promise you it's quite true. The door opened, Laurence Olivier walked in. Oh, I can't tell you. I was looking in the mirror at him. I was trying to turn around. He just stood looking in the mirror and he went, I've just seen your performance. And I said, yes. He said, you wear a wig better than any actor I've ever met. <laughs> And I charge you now to receive the aforementioned Honourable Anthony St. John Normandy Agincourt. Stephen de Fawcett, Delisle, Robinson, Purley, Gascoigne, Whitecliffe. Blimey, it's a football team. It's you, sir. Oh. <laughs> Sorry. Here comes my lady. Make your excuse wisely, you were best. God bless thee, lady. Take the fool away. Do not hear, fellows. Take away the lady. And now, senores, watch the birdie. The birdie. The birdie. The birdie. The birdie. The birdie.